What's up guys, Carrington here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very fun, interesting video for you guys. I'm going to be doing my full face in my mom's makeup. My mom uses a lot of different makeup than I do. She uses a lot of different brands, a lot of different products. She doesn't have a lot of the stuff that I do because I have tons of makeup. This is her makeup bag right here. It's a little hefty, but honestly I have no idea what's in here. I've seen this video trending around YouTube. I've seen my friend Adeline do it. I've seen my friend Sylvia do it and I also saw an awesome video that Nikki Tutorials did so that is what inspired me to do this video I thought that it would be super fun and interesting to see how it turns out so here is the inside of my mom's makeup bag we have some deodorant I don't know why that's in there we have an Elizabeth Arden palette only four brushes and they all feel like horse hair <laughs> um, so yeah we have four brushes to work with so someone please pray for me more deodorant Really? We have a few mascaras, we got a lip liner. Guys, thank the heavens, I found a brush that I actually gave my mom not too long ago. So this is a nice, smooth one. But yeah, there's a but that I don't have. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here, so I say we just go ahead and get started. So my mom has two foundation bottles in here. They both look like they're almost empty. My mom wears a lot darker of a foundation than I do. My mom is a bit more tan than I am. Especially right now, this is probably the widest I've ever been. So let's see which one has some in it. Okay, so this one doesn't seem to have anything in it. Let's try this one. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put a few pumps of this. My mom doesn't have a beauty blender, and I don't think that she has a foundation brush either. Most of the time, she does her makeup pretty fast, and I've seen her put this on with her hands. So, I say we just go for it. Oh my god. As you can see, this is a lot, a lot darker. I'm scared. Okay, alright. Ah! My face is gonna be orange. Alright, we're just gonna have to blend it out as much as we can. I feel like it's gonna get in my hair and it's gonna make it look like my hair is orange, so let's put that back. Look at my neck compared to my cheek. But I gotta say, this foundation feels really nice. It feels like really smooth. It feels like it has a nice like not it's not dry But it's like almost powdery like it's very matte and it's very full coverage Also guys, I'm just gonna be doing my makeup into the viewfinder just cuz I don't know. It's easy. It's good lighting So we're just gonna we're just gonna do it like that. Okay. This isn't Awful I only look semi like an Oompa Loompa. Okay, so this doesn't look as awful as I thought that it would it still looks very dark but hopefully if she has some concealer, I can lighten it up a little bit with that. But this is like very full coverage. I only used like three little dots and my face is completely covered. So that's really nice. So now let's go and see if she has any concealer. Mom, please have concealer. What the heck is this? You have a black, tan, and bright mustard yellow palette. Who goes in the store and looks at this and is like, oh yeah, like... Those colors really complement one another. Update, she does not have concealer. We have a, this is a little compact with a blush and a bronzer together. So we're just gonna use this. She also doesn't have any powder. So, ha, huh. I'm gonna use this brush right here and I'm gonna take the bronzer and I'm going to contour. Okay, this looks pretty. This contour is nice. I like it. And my forehead's already dark enough, so we're not going to apply anything there. Let's dip into this blush. It looks pretty. I don't usually wear blush, honestly, but since I'm doing my mom's makeup, then I'm going to be a brush. Okay, the blush is also pretty. Cool. Now let's see if she has some highlighter. Oh, oh, ba-bam. She has the Laura Geller New York highlighter. I actually really like this highlighter. See, with my mom, she had a lot of her own makeup, but I gave her a lot because I get like PR packages and stuff like that. So whenever I get something, she's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Then I'll just give her a bunch of different stuff from that. But I'll let you know when it was stuff that I gave her. Let's use this smaller brush to apply the highlighter. Do you, do you guys see? Like this brush doesn't even move. Ooh, see 
yeah, this highlighter is pretty. I really like this. So now in my makeup routine, I would move on to eyebrows. So I'm going to see if she has any eyebrow stuff. It's so funny doing this because my mom, she literally is the person who made me want to start wearing makeup. Like whenever I was little, I would go into her bathroom. I would watch her do her makeup all the time. I would get into her makeup. And I remember there's this one memory that I have when I was little. She had this makeup set that had like eyeshadows, lip glosses, mascara, eyeliner, just like a set of everything. I remember going into that and I used like this super white sparkly eyeshadow on my lid and then I put on mascara. This was probably like the first time I really like put on makeup and liked it and I was like when I get older this is gonna be my makeup look. I remember telling her that and she was like yeah it looks really pretty and I know that didn't look good but she was backing me up. My mom has always been really good at makeup and really good at hair so I really think that that's where a lot of my inspiration came from. From what I can see my mom doesn't have anything that is for eyebrows. Yeah no, no eyebrow stuff. So now let's just move on to eyeshadow. We're gonna use this one. It's a little bit fluffier. There's so much makeup coming out of it. Mama, I love you but we're gonna need to hook you up with some, some better makeup. Which palette do I wanna go into? Ah, I'll go in this one. It looks like she uses this one a lot. It looks like she uses this one pretty often. It looks like she uses these colors a lot. I've actually seen her put this one on her lid and I think she does this one in the crease. So let's see how that looks. This is like a goldish yellowy color. It's actually, it doesn't look really pretty in the palette, but it actually looks really pretty on the eye. So now we're gonna add a little bit of that brown. This brush is actually not too bad. It's not blending bad at all. Okay, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad at all. Okay, Ma, I see you, Ma. What's up? My goal of doing this makeup right now <laughs> because I honestly don't want to have to redo my makeup after this, so I'm hoping that it actually turns out good so I can wear it for the rest of the day. My mom usually goes in with an eyeliner, and she likes to kind of do a bit of a smoky look around her eyes. She never wears liquid eyeliner. She always wears pencil. Okay, so she has a black pencil eyeliner. We're going to sharpen it. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my upper lash line. Now we're going to put it on the bottom. Yeah, but she doesn't put it on her waterline. She just puts it on her lower lash line. So we're going to use... Oh, this brush is not going to be good for this. I feel like this is where the tutorial is going to go downhill. Hmm. Not going to lie, this is how I did my makeup back in like 2009. So I'm going to use this flat brush to blend out the upper lash line and lower lash line. This actually looks pretty. I literally haven't worn my makeup black like this in so long. Now let's move on to mascara. She has a few, but I'm gonna use this Monster Lash Extra Extra Large. I've actually used this before for another makeup tutorial that I did and afterwards I gave it to her. So I know that I like this mascara. Now I'm going to kind of cheat just because I want to put on some falsies. My mom doesn't normally wear eyelashes, but I'm going to cheat a little bit. So I'll come back to you once I have my falsies on. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara on my bottom lashes. Now that my eyes are done, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lips. This is just a Sephora lip liner. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my lips. Oh. Yeah, I know. I think that this is definitely going to be a bit darker than what I normally wear. I look like... I look like I have a mustache. Mom, excuse me? What is this? Maybe if... Oh. Ooh. Maybe if I blend it out a little bit, it will look better. Rub it in a little. Okay, that looks a lot better. I think she might have a lighter lipstick in here that I can use to make it look a bit lighter. What on earth is that color? Mama, I have never seen you wear purple lipstick ever. Why do you have purple lipstick? That's more like it. A pretty nice natural looking pink. Okay, so here is the lips. I like it. It's a little bit darker than what I would normally wear, but for the most part, it's it's really pretty. So this is the finished look. I definitely think having some concealer definitely would have helped and some eyebrows. I don't think that my makeup actually looks bad. I think that this is definitely gonna be wearable for today. Mom, I wanna say that I love you. Thank you for letting me borrow your makeup for this video. 
love you very much and thank you for inspiring me to get into makeup and love makeup and thanks for just supporting me in general you know that I love you if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe I post two videos a week so I promise that you do not want to miss these videos turn on my post notifications so you can be notified of when I upload I love you guys so much and I will see you guys later stay majestic